Hi everyone, welcome back to Wild Caught Vintage. I hope that this video finds you well. Um, my name is Randy. I am the owner of Rockabilly Raven Vintage on Etsy. And this is going to be the first in the quarantine series. As we all know, everyone is pretty much stuck at home these days. And the thrift stores, at least here in Ohio, are 100% non-essential and they're shut down. So, I do have thrift haul videos for you. Um, they are thrift collections, thrift hauls from several trips in January and February that I had not gotten around to film yet before kind of the world went upside down. So, I still have them. Uh, they're still stacked up and uh, aside from what that says about my ability to move inventory quickly, um, it kind of works out well for all of us because I have inventory to keep feeding my store and fun stuff to still show you. So if you like those sort of things, I hope that you'll consider joining us here. And without further ado, let me show you uh, some treasures that I picked up at a uh, VOA thrift store. Um, in February. So to start off with, I found this phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal periwinkle blue spring belted trench coat. I mean, check out, check out, it's got a belt, it's got really fantastic buttons. You guys know how much I like buttons. Isn't that great? Um, has great collar. It's really, really nice. The lining is beautiful. Um, the tag on it, it's really tiny. It says made in Colombia. So I don't actually know if this was brought back maybe from a trip or if uh, it was picked up somewhere, but uh, I did get this for $2.99. Um, the shoulders, look at this detail. Look at it. Oh, it's just fantastic. It's much too small for me to try on and show you guys, um, but it is really beautiful and it was a great find. I cannot wait to get it in the store for someone for the spring if they need a coat. All right, next I have, I have all sorts of little things, but I have them out of order. So forgive me one quick second. All right, next. Next I have a blouse. All of these were picked up at the same store on the same trip. Also from the 70s. Right? Look at this print. It is really fantastic. Very Alphonse Mucha-esque printing. Look at these collars. See it? Oh yeah. Um, it is... Uh, Lady Manhattan and it's really fantastic it is sheer I don't know if you guys can see how sheer it is but it is just a fantastic um, spring blouse um, it is small it was a 910 vintage size so it's probably about a six uh, in our current sizing so it's definitely not a contender for me, but I sure do like this print. It's pretty fantastic. And um, it's a nylon blouse. It's gonna look really awesome with a pair of high-waisted jeans and a tank top this summer. And someone's gonna really love that. So I was really excited to pick that up. Next, I have another blouse. And this blouse, oh. I might have to keep it. I'm really digging these very vibrant shirts right now. Check it out. Isn't it great? All right, me holding it up is not doing it justice. It is a, a gingham print plus size 70s polyester blouse. Look at that wingtip collar. Something to know about wingtip collars is that Wingtip collars are not exclusive to the 1970s. In the 1940s is where they got the idea for the wingtip collars in the 70s. 
So I happen to love wingtip collars because they remind me of the 1940s, not just the 1970s. This particular blouse has really beautiful long triple button cuffs and it is a, um, a Lee Mar. I don't know that tag, but there's the tag for you so you can see. Just as a reminder, since I haven't said it in several videos, um, the reason that I show people, show all of you, uh, my friends, the tags is to give you a tool to be able to find vintage yourself out when you're thrifting or maybe when you're thrifting online due to our current circumstances. Um, it's really easy for things to be vintage style, um, but the telltale sign is almost exclusively the tag, second to the stitching. So um, just so that you know why I show you guys the tags. So this particular blouse, again, it's a really good size. I think it's gonna fit me. Um, and I hope that it styles up beautifully and, and looks fantastic. So that was a really good find. The next two things that I have are vests. Um, vests, weight, waistcoats are just all the rage right now. And look at that, isn't it great? This is very much a 1990s, um, 1990s vintage, if you will. It was made in Belarus. Here's the tag. The tag is like massive. I think it's supposed to actually be taken out when, um, I don't know, maybe when you buy it. It's 100% wool, so yay. Um, it's got a great pinstripe to it. And just in general, it's a wonderful fitted vest with a big poofy collar. It's just going to look fantastic. So, and it is a woman's vest. It says it's a size eight. So it's probably since the nineties, it is probably a six or an eight. Um, and it's going to look fantastic with trousers or skirt. I also got another wonderful, very Victorian waistcoat, uh, very Victorian sort of, um, over over bust high bust um, vest this particular one is a size 14 uh, and it looks like it's from the 90s so it is probably a 12 14 um, it's got a nice generous size to the chest and a nice high fitted waist and it's a navy blue sort of a navy blue brocade so um, I think again with a bow blouse or a or even just by itself ooh, by itself with a really good pair of trousers oof that'll look fantastic another great piece I picked up to put in the store um, on one of those trips so really really fun to find the I also picked up just because I put them in my lap I picked up these two absolutely beautiful scarves this one is hundred percent silk um, it will be great for tying up in a big turban in my hair. And then this one is a hundred percent wool pashmina and it's that beautiful berry color that I really, really enjoy. Um, I don't know if it's vintage or not, but I kind of got it for myself to just wrap around sort of 1930s style. So, um, really great things that I found. Again, those ones were just for me. The last couple of things for this roundup uh, haul is uh, purses and handbags. So I got uh, two handbags and two shoulder bags. Uh, the first bag is this vinyl beauty. Look at, look at this detail. I know, right? Isn't it great? Really fantastic. Really, really good. Bottom is clean. It's really great. And I just, oof, I love this thing. It is 100% um, vinyl with a metal, silver and gold tone detail. The inside is clean, looks really good. All of the stitching on the handles was nice and strong. No broken stitching, no cracks 
or bends in the vinyl that's really important for your vinyl handbags. The connection points in the bag were good. And just in general, it was a really fantastic 1950s bag. Um, this little bag was $2.99. Yep, not too shabby. I've got the camera backed up away from me a little bit um, because in some of my videos it feels like you guys are really up close in my face. So if this video is a little bit rough, please forgive me. It's strange times. So the other handbag that I found is this lovely summer bag. It was only 90 cents. It is burlap with embroidery on it. So I actually think this is a kit, a kit bag. I see it's all hand done inside. So I believe you would have bought it as a kit and then you would have stitched the bag. Um, I don't think they finished the stitching. So notice there's none up here. Um, I actually kind of like the aesthetic of it personally. So I, I am going to just sell it as is. But I thought it was a really great piece as I drop things. Um, I thought it was a really great piece and I like the yellows and then the purples together. I thought for summer it would be really great. The last two things that I have to show you are bags. They're shoulder bags for summer. Aren't they great? So. This one is just a big 90s, maybe even 80s, because it's got a, a zipper. It is actually meant to zip. I might take the zipper out, because the zipper seems kind of erroneous. But anyway, it's just a great shoulder bag for the summer. And I also found at the same place, this wonderful basket purse. This one is probably uh, probably from the 90s. This one is actually lined, as you can see. Uh, the tag does say made in China. So um, uh, made in China, especially now that we're getting into the 90s and soon, you know, Y2K is gonna be vintage. Oh my gosh. Um, vintage. We may have to redo our terms on that, uh, but uh, it was still a fantastic bag. It's going to be great for summer, and I can't wait to get it in the store for someone. I hope that you have enjoyed this uh, little thrift haul. Um, it is one of maybe four or five that I can do while we are all staying inside to keep each other safe. Um, perhaps you can live vicariously through uh, what I have not gotten into the store. I hope that you are weathering well. Um, if you have any suggestions, please feel free to put those down in the comments below. Um, as always, I hope that this video blesses you in some way and that if I am very lucky, you will come and see me again. If you like this uh, channel, please feel free to subscribe, uh, leave me comments and suggestions below, and maybe hit the thumbs up button. Have a great day and I will see you in the future. Bye.